All right, first thing we're gonna do here is pull the carter pin from the castle nut, which is on the upper control arm. Next, always wise to move every bolt before you try to take it off. It'll help you in the end. So we got that one back here where your strut goes into the fork. Add a little bit of loop to that one. And then the bottom of the forks. I'm gonna add some to that. The castle nut should be 17 millimeters. Where the strut is bolted to the fork, that's a 14 millimeter. is bolted to the lower control arm. Make that 17. This up. Yes, 17 millimeter. Pull that bolt out. All right, now you can pull the fork off. Got that there. So you have the bolt right here that squeezes together to hold it to the strut. And the bolt that goes between here holds it to the lower control arm. All right, next I need to separate the upper control arm from, I guess this is called the knuckle. No. Yeah, it's yeah, it's knuckle. All right. Um, now there's two choices. You either go the route of let's get the tools here. The pickle fork. Pickle but fork. <laughs> most likely, if you use a pickle fork, the ball joint you're gonna end up tearing the, the boot, which will make it where you can't really use it anymore. It's, it's good using this when uh, when you're just replacing the whole unit. It makes the job a little bit faster, but if you want if you want to just take it off and have to re reuse it, uh, not not really a good option. All right, or the next is a ball joint separator. Got this for twenty bucks from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. <laughs> All right, haven't used this yet, so we'll see how good this is. What you want to do? Is this is the top part you want to put in between the top of where the knuckle is and the bottom part you want you want right on the end of that um, the threads of the ball joint Bring that down until it becomes tight. <laughs> Gotta position it just right so it don't slide off when you're turning it. What that's what that's doing right there 
is it's basically using the top portion and that metal portion to, to hold one side and then it's gonna put all the pressure to the actual uh, bolt that's right there so it'll just pop and separate the boots. Those boots are just known to, uh, to really hold right against the, uh, the actual arm and they have very snug fit. That's actually the way that they're designed. All right, that's not gonna work that easy. Not without bending my fender. So, we'll have to try this another time on a different ball joint. But, time for the pickle fork. Yes, we're gonna use a pickle fork. Um, obviously, I'm changing out the upper control arm for an adjustable one. So, that's not gonna make a big difference there if I tear the boot. Gonna tear up a boot. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing here is we're, we're actually putting the pickle fork right there right where the on the top where the boot is and then we're just gonna have to basically take a hammer to it a couple times once you get it in try to wiggle it i have to keep going Go. Now you see it and you see how it's separated right there is where the boot is let's camera get into focus here you see right there a little little bit of scrapes on the boot there was a good it was a good pickle fork in this time so now that's actually salvageable all right here where the strut comes through the chassis that part's also known as the hat of the strut, 14 millimeter. So I use an extended one because how long the threads are. So undoing this one, the strut's gonna start falling out. So get it far enough, then you gotta reach around. All right, the next part are these. Um, 17 millimeter, you got two of those on each side. This bracket is in the way on this side, so we need a 10 millimeter. So, so those bolts are holding on to the, uh, <clears throat> the actual uh, upper control arm. arm that's gonna have the adjustment onto it. So you gotta take those out so you can remove it. 10 millimeter will remove this bolt show them where that bolt is yeah we're right here in the back it's right, right there it's right right here right next to your uh looks like your peristone reservoir that's actually the clutch all right peristone over here red knot or red you see it right here it's actually right next to your um <laughs> your <laughs> <laughs> Clutch, <laughs> say it with me, clutch. <laughs> it's actually right here, right next to your clutch reservoir. Uh, you got your your, uh, your brake master cylinder, it's all right there in this area, so you just need to wiggle right into there. All right, so you got two. You got the two bolts right there. Oh, these are actually 17. 17 millimeters. Jeez. 
little tighter just because it fit. You can see the uh, <clears throat> upper control arm is, is loosened up. Get a hold of one hand and uh, loosen the last bolt with the other. Don't really want it to drop down and damage the brake line or anything to that nature. Up there was, we get out a little. There we go. There's your, there's your stock one. Now you're gonna be reusing this part. Um, replacing this with the adjustable one that we got. So you, so we're going to be transfer. We got to transfer this over to the new one, with the uh, with the joints right here, both sides, and all the rest of this is pretty much just trash. We're recycling. Whatever, we'll get you some money. All right. What we went ahead and did is loosened up the the <clears throat> bolt nut on each side right here. They need two 14 millimeters. I'm just going to loosen up the the bolt nut. Get that out of there. Very simple disassembly right after that. Let's pull that out. You want to always go ahead and check the check the condition of your <clears throat> rubber around there. So you actually see around there, just a little bit dirty, a little bit of crack. You might want to might want to actually go ahead and replace that. But for this one right now, ju just temporarily, we're just going to go ahead and put it back in. All right, you want to make sure the arch is on the outside. That's really important. If not, it won't clear your strut. Just got to line up your bolts. Get them going. There you go. Just uh, go ahead and torque them down, do what you need to do. Uh, we, we ain't gonna torque it down, pretty much. We, we go off of hand tighten on it. We're not, we're not pros here. It's done, set up, ready to go back in. Real nice and shiny. All right, before we do that, we gotta adjust them. It's best to adjust it to where the stock one was, and then when you take it, it'll get an alignment. Uh, they'll go ahead and adjust it to where it needs to be for the alignment. So, say that's probably good. Um, we need a five millimeter Allen key to adjust these. You want to really make sure to uh, be careful while doing these. You don't want to strip out a head on one of those. It will be a pain in the ass to uh, replace afterwards. Back a little. That should be good. Make sure to tighten them down real good.
Now it should be ready to put back in the car. All right, so what we're gonna do here is put this right back in. Gonna go right underneath, line up your holes, push the bolts right straight up through. All right, so we got the uh, upper control arm in there. Gonna start doing the reassembly and putting back the strut and everything else back together. All right, after you get both of the 17 millimeter nuts bolted down, I'll put this nut back in. On this part. Clips back in, throttle cable. Cruise control cable. That's correct. Mounting positions. All right, so we're getting the strut back in now, all for the reassembly. Fit that back in. Very real simple. Touch. You got to put your two uh, nuts on the top. Just hand tighten there. It's just just a replacement holder. Next, we're taking the castle nut off the adjustable camber. Without lifting it. Bring this one down. Putting it through. Once you're able to see it, put the castle nut back on. Tighten it, hand tighten, not too much, don't over tighten it. And you gotta make sure you're able to see a hole with the car to pin through. Carbon through, bend it. We're good on that. Next, putting the strut fork back on. the back. Be careful the fork doesn't drop down on you when you're tightening this. Okay. 
to the 14 millimeter. Don't tighten it down all the way until you got all the rest of the bolts back in, in case you have to adjust. Now we're gonna put the fork that goes to the low control arm. Make that back on. Back to the 17. Don't over tighten these. Uh, you always want to finish tightening them once the car's on the ground and it's at the right height. Um, the top one though, you can now tighten down. You won't be adjusting that at all. All suspension parts you want to make sure are as tight as can be without stripping them. All right, we got this side down. Don't forget to tighten the bolts all on top. Um, once you lower it down, you're doing the other one, but right now we're going to work on the other side. You do the same exact way we did this one. <laughs> 